Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to be reviewing a Zippo pipe lighter. I wanna talk a little bit about what makes it a pipe lighter. There's a slight design change, uh, as well as letting you know that it is interchangeable with any kind of case. What's cool about Zippos is that there's thousands and thousands and thousands of different designs. And there may be a few different designs that you like. You may have a Zippo that's very sentimental to you. And if you wanted to use it to, uh, you know, with a, a pipe insert, pipe lighter insert, you could of course transfer that insert into any Zippo case that you may already have. So here's uh, this particular one. This is a newer one. Um, we could see the model for this is a 200 PL. So we have a, a very standard uh, pipe lighter. This has a brushed stainless finish on the front and back with a polished uh, edge. Pretty standard looking Zippo. What sets us apart uh, visually is that we have a little indicator here letting us know it's a pipe insert inside. So we have a just a black image of a pipe. It looks like a bent billiard. Very cool. But it's a quick indicator. Yeah, this is a pipe uh, pipe lighter. Now what makes this a pipe lighter is the insert. The insert design is a little bit different. This is a standard Zippo, one of my favorite throwback Zippos. All right, so this is the insert we're used to seeing. And this is a, a pipe insert. Now the biggest visual um, difference is the hole in the chimney here now as well as a cap now this cap is removable just pops out if you want to use this like a standard zippo you could just pop the top off and you have a regular standard flame but the benefit of having this cap here and the holes in the side would be obviously to use this um, to light your pipes and this has two little metal lips on the sides just kind of line this on the top it should pop in Hold on. It's hard to do things in front of the, uh, um, the camera sometimes. So there we go. Just pops right in. Just got to line up properly. But um, the benefit here is having the holes in the sides allow you to turn the lighter sideways to properly light a pipe when you want you want to draw your flame straight down. It's a little bit more difficult. You can use a standard Zippo to light a pipe. It's just sometimes what happens is because the flame is going out the top of the chimney and down, it will oftentimes wave inside um, and it won't be as a consistent of a flame. And what happens is you'll char the, uh, the rim of your pipe. So it will cause damage to the pipe. It's not as easily done. So this is specifically designed to be used either right-handed or left-handed. That's why the hole goes all the way through. And as you draw into the pipe, the flame will go straight down without damaging the pipe. Very, uh, very interesting, just a, a very simple design there. Um, but what I said before is that these are interchangeable. So let's say you have your favorite Zippo, maybe you got it from your father, your grandfather, it means something to you, it's a cool design, whatever the case may be, and you want uh, to make it a pipe lighter, you literally can just buy a pipe lighter and or insert and swap them because the insert is identical. The only difference here is the design of the chimney and the addition of that cap. So it is swappable with any kind of case that you wanted. Obviously it's a full size Zippo, so it won't work with a slim, but it's gonna be very functional no matter what case you put it in. So, I'll show you the, uh, the box here, what it has to say real quick. And I wanna talk about using a Zippo pipe lighter because I know one thing that most pipe and cigar smokers are thinking right now, and we'll go over that in a second, but anyway, here's the box. It says pipe lighter, made in USA, features unique chimney and cases flame uh, in metal. You can see an illustration of how that would work with the pipe. Uh, design allows flame to be drawn directly into pipe without damaging the bowl and lighter insert fits any standard Zippo windproof lighter. So, very straightforward. There's a bunch of different Zippo uh, pipe lighters out there as far as design. Some of them have all different types of pipes in the front. Some of them just have this logo. You can get different colors. There's a slew of different pipe lighters. Um, but like I said, you could take this out and just use the insert in any of your favorite Zippos you may already have. So, the one thing I want to mention, which I know a lot of you guys are thinking, is why in the world would you get something like this? Because what I've heard is that using a Zippo to light a cigar or a pipe ruins the flavor of the tobacco. Now, a lot of people would say that's true, but I can tell you, I personally know a lot of people who use a Zippo lighter to smoke a pipe. Um, Jason Dagner, for one, he's probably the biggest person on YouTube that you see using a Zippo to light a pipe. And that man knows his pipes and knows his tobaccos and it doesn't bother him one bit. I could tell you that I've personally used a Zippo. I've used a butane Zippo insert in a Zippo to light a pipe before, but I've used a standard Zippo just like this to light a pipe. 
and I really did not honestly taste any difference in tobacco. I did not taste the fuel like people say you're going to. I'm sure it's possible, but I didn't pick up on it. And I can tell you from personal experience that my grandfather, my, my mother's father, always smoked a pipe. And one of my biggest regrets is not taking some of his pipes when he passed away years ago. I, he had a beautiful pipe collection and a Zippo collection. But the one thing I always remembered is he used a Zippo pipe lighter to light every single one of his pipes. And I, although I wasn't specifically paying attention at the time to his, his pipe smoking and his routines, um, I know he had matches available to him and other lighters, but he always chose to use his, his Zippo to light his pipes. So apparently it didn't bother him any either. So as far as using this and Zippo fluid to light your pipes, is that really going to change the flavor of tobacco? Some say it does, some say it doesn't. I can tell you from personal experience that I did not pick up on any kind of flavor change. It didn't ruin the tobacco, nothing like that. So it's very much a, uh, you know, a possible option to light your pipes. It's a really interesting uh, Zippo design. If you collect Zippos in general, it's a cool one to have in the collection just for conversational purposes. If you were showing someone a whole collection, it's something different. It stands out against all other Zippos because of that unique design change. As far as the cost on these, these uh, pipe lighters are usually about the same price as a standard Zippo. This one, I believe, was $17.95. Most Zippo models are anywhere between, I would say, $11 and $30 in the U.S. I know other countries, the prices are inflated, and you might pay, on average, you know, 30 40 50 bucks for Zippo. But as far as in the United States, the average price for Zippo is going to be probably like 25 bucks across the board. Yes, there's more collectible ones. Yes, there's more rare uh, models that may cost more money. And there's very cheap standard models. Like I said, you can get a, a plain matte one for 10 bucks at Walmart. But about 20, 25 bucks is what you're gonna pay for a standard lighter, any kind of Zippo. And the pipe ones aren't any more expensive. You might think because it's different, it may be more expensive, but it's not. It's about the same price. Just depends on you know, what process they go through to give you the design. If it's something with an emblem on the front, it will be more expensive. It's more uh, more time in the factory, obviously more materials, things like that. But I would say about 20 bucks is what you're gonna pay for uh, most Zippo pipe lighter models. So anyway, that's all. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Uh, if you do have experience with these Zippo pipe lighters, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and that's it. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you soon. Take care.